damn, dude. We got fucking good news and we got some fucking bad news. The bad news is. Yo, what is good, guys? What is good, guys? Daniel Savage here. For those on Instagram who follow me, you guys have seen that I bought a brand new poster. The office is very dirty, so we will be going through a little cleaning. But um, we got the casting couch, and then we have our beautiful, beautiful new poster over here that we will be trading behind on our trading desk over here. So anyways, um, we're just going to clean up the office, and then we'll be right back. Alrighty, we finally finished our freaking office cleaning, man. The whole office is cleaned, ready for the week. Dude, I'm so obsessed, dude. I cannot. I cannot. I cannot. I cannot. Oh, one thing that I just did right now also is I put my 4K monitor over here. I usually have it over here, but I switched them. So I got the 4K monitor over here. Um, dude, look at my view, man. Like, I love this view in the nighttime because the whole everything is all lit up. All Miami is lit the fuck up. But um, yeah, guys, the office is freaking finally clean, dude. I usually clean on Sundays. Um, I don't know, it's kind of like therapy to me. I mean, I can pay somebody to clean, but there's no point when I could just do it myself. You know what I mean? So yeah, there's no point. I like cleaning myself. It's like therapy, no cap. But uh, anyways, guys, <laughs> I know somebody's gonna say something about the, the glass of azul over here. So a lot of people are probably gonna be like, yo, why the fuck you have a whiskey right there? All right, so for those who don't know about the glass of azul is, you know, especially in the live mentorships, when we wanna trade, we literally, bam! You know, we do the honors and we we smack it on the on the head and we hear that little ding. So when we wanna trade, that's what we do. So um, before I continue this vlog, cause I really wanted to talk about something and then we're gonna switch over to over here. And maybe we'll switch over, but um, I wanna talk about the importance of back testing. I usually back test aggressively on Sundays. And uh, when I mean aggressively, like I'll be there for like probably like 30 minutes. Sometimes like an hour, I'm a little out of breath, dude. I just fucking cleaned this whole entire place and I did it pretty fast, not gonna lie. Uh, also right now, I gotta go drop off a gift. Um, oh yeah, look at my little poster. I usually have that one outside. I don't know, I don't, wanna, I don't know if I'm gonna keep that in here. But um, I gotta go drop off a gift uh, to the doctor's wife. It's her, it was her birthday today. So we're gonna go over there. We're gonna say happy birthday. I gotta give her a gift. And then um, from there, eh, yeah, I don't know, we'll probably fuck around. Ro just got his brand new fucking uh, tires. I don't know, there's something triple A's. I don't fucking know. They're just like really really good tires that grips the floor. And he put race gas inside his car. So he's pushing about 900 plus horsepower to the wheel right now. So he wants to kill me. So we're gonna go do that. And um, yo, fuck dude, tomorrow I gotta take the McLaren to service. I don't know how the fuck I killed a whole oil tank. Like I killed the whole, all the oil. And literally 1,300 miles. Like, damn, like, how is that fucking possible? But whatever. Uh, super hard problems. Jesus Christ. So I gotta go fix that. And then uh, that's for tomorrow, though. But yeah, we're gonna go fuck around right now. And then we're gonna go talk about the importance of back testing. And um, yeah, guys. So we'll, we'll see what's up. Yeah, we'll talk about this as well. This was an NFP trade that we took. We took an entry here. We got stomped out by nine pips and then shut the fuck up to our targets. Literally to the fucking decimal, dude. To the freaking decimal, bro. But um, anyways, I'll see you guys right now. Or I was about to pull up right now, and we'll go fuck around and uh, bring you guys along with us. Well, boys, I've been kidnapped. Windows are down, so sorry for the audio. You guys might have to lower your fucking volume when you guys watch this. Say what's up, motherfucker. Gab cam. <laughs> what the fuck? So we call this the gap cam. So when we gap somebody, we see their car back here. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna do a little pull in a few uh, seconds. We're gonna pull here. Yeah, we're gonna do a pull here. Yeah, right here. <laughs> I'm excited. So, like I mentioned, Raul's pushing about 900 to the wheel right now with race gas. So let's see.
first. <laughs> All right, you better hear the inner white bitch and me come out. Anyways. <coughs> Let me get um an iced white mocha large with sweet cream foam. Yeah, 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 but add a uh, um, cinnamon TikTok dolce. TikTok drink. Two pumps. So, so it's a TikTok drink. It is. Um, a chocolate croissant. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna get for my girlfriend. I'm gonna get her a <laughs> strawberry acai with light ice, extra strawberries. The strawberry acai, not acai. Whatever. <laughs> and uh, that will complete. A uh, water. Uh, let me get a medium. Medium. You said light ice or extra ice? Let me get, uh, actually, let me get a regular ice. What is it, like a diet ice? Let me get that in a venti. She don't like it, fucker. Uh, that'll, uh, that'll be it. Okay, so I got a venti ice white mocha. I got the, the TikTok drink with the extra two pumps of cinnamon dolce. Yeah, and the venti strawberry acai with water. Yep. You got it. Awesome. You know that drink is damn well for you. <laughs> No, it's not. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it is. <laughs> All right, since I know everybody's gonna ask me, would you get the doctor's wife? So, I got her a little cheapy ass perfume at the mall. It's still Gucci. Um, the only situation is, she's got all the Gucci perfumes. So, she, I don't know, she might say it's a fake. I don't know. Either way, whatever. Would you think, girl, I'm gonna spend $100 on your ass? Uh -uh, you get a $50 Gucci promotion at Dolphin Mall, baby. <laughs> Simple. Oh my God, when he pays. Oh. <laughs> wow, that boy didn't even leave a tip, bruh. I'm dead. I'm poor. Ooh, nah, bruh. Hashtag leave a tip on Raul's previous picture. <laughs> uh, I just gotta, I gotta make sure the drink is good for my girlfriend. Oh yeah? Oh, yeah, it's good for her. It's good, she can have it. Alrighty, we finally got it set up. So, going back to what I was saying, man. You know, I think it's very, very crucial and very important that a lot of you guys back test, man, because, you know, in anything that you do, man, we all know that we've all heard the saying, practice makes perfect. I know it's a cheesy saying, bro. But you know, you have to do it, dude. You have to do it. Do you think basketball players, once they become professionals, man, do you think they stop fucking throwing free throws? Man, they don't do that, man. They keep going. They train every day, man. They get a house and they build a basketball court inside their fucking new house. You can't stop doing what you're doing because you're good at it now. You got to keep going, man. You know, you got you to gotta do it until you're perfect. And even when you're fucking perfect, you got to keep doing it. You got to. You know what I'm saying? You, when you teach a dog a trick, that dog can forget the trick if you don't if you don't, you know, keep up with its training, you know what I'm saying? And that's how it is. You got to keep up with the training. And that's how Forex is, man. It's the same damn thing, bro. Just because, you you know, you, you mastered your psychology, you know, you officially, you know, had your breakthrough, man. You know, you, you don't, you, you got to keep backtesting. That doesn't mean, no, I don't got to backtest anymore. No, man, that means you got to backtest more than ever. You know, even though you go in, you know, damn, this move already happened. This isn't real time market, you know, hours. You know, this happened already. I can already tell what's gonna happen. You know, it doesn't matter, bro. You need to, you need to do it. You gotta fucking do it. You know, because guess what? It's gonna build confidence. I know people, man, that have been trading for more than two, three, four, five years, man, they're still scared to trade. You know, I do this shit live with hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people, you know, but I lose. But guess what, man? When it comes to back testing, like I said, man, to wrap it all up, man, it is mandatory, guys. It is fucking mandatory. I don't need to back test. Why? Because I take the same trades, I take the same setup, I do the same damn thing every single day. I don't need to do it, but guess what? I do it anyways. Why? Because I like to keep feeding myself. I need to keep feeding myself. I cannot lose my consistency. I cannot, you know, I gotta keep doing this. Why? Because I have to. I gotta keep doing this damn thing. Just like my perfect example with baseball players, basketball players, football players, man. You know, just because a dude went pro, you know, he's, he, he's got to keep practicing. You know what I'm saying? And that's just, that's, that's just how it is. You, you need to keep doing this. Even if you are successful, you got to keep doing this shit. So anyways, guys, I'm going to wrap the video up because, you know, and GJ is spiking right now. I got to see what the fuck is up. I want to keep looking at it. I know the market just opened like 38 minutes ago, but damn, this thing is kind of cool. Um, 
I'm gonna look at this candle real quick. It's wick filling uh, currently right now. And um, damn, after 30 fucking almost 40 pips gap down, that's crazy. But um, yeah, guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a little bit of back testing right now. And then, um, yeah, guys, and for those in the, the London Lives, I'll see you guys later. And um, before we end it, you guys know the vibes, man. I appreciate all the love you guys have been giving me in the vlogs lately. Bro, this vlog got, the previous vlog got fucking 13K views in 24 hours. That's insane, man. That's amazing. Uh, I said I was going to keep giving you guys more vlogs. I bought this brand new vlogging camera just for that. You know, the other one, we all know about my freaking issues that I had on that. So make sure to, um... yeah, somebody's getting their ass beat because I can hear my neighbor's kids crying like a bitch. But anyways, you know, make sure guys to like, comment, subscribe to the channel, man. We're doing a Christmas giveaway. I'm not sure what I want to do yet. I got to really figure it out. I don't know. I was thinking about a PS5, but let me tell you, man, everybody's raping on these damn PS5s right now. People are asking fucking $1,500 over here in Miami. I went to the mall. Motherfucker said $2,000. I said, catch me outside, bro. I said, no, you're going to have to throw me a one-on-one, -on -one, bro. Go outside right now. Literally, I'm about to beat his ass for trying to tell me $2,000 for a PS5. But anyway, follow me on Instagram, baby. You know I got to flex, man. Look at that blue check right there. Blue check game, baby. Stop playing with me, bitch. <laughs> Get the bundle. So whatever you guys want to see in the comments, man, whatever you guys want me to talk about. Somebody told me they wanted me to talk about the importance of back testing. So that is this video for you guys. Hopefully it helped. If it didn't help, oh well. Um, what can I say about it? Uh, it's just my opinion. But um, like I said, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. Stay tuned. Turn the notifications on because... This giveaway, you do not want to fucking miss it. It'll probably be a 24-hour giveaway. Who knows? It won't be probably a week or something. So if you miss out and you didn't get to participate, oh, well, that is your fucking fault. So anyways, guys, I'll see you guys in the, the next video. God damn, dude. We got fucking good news and we got some fucking bad news. The bad news is the fucking monitor that we fucking changed over here was fucking hanging literally almost to the ground because it ripped the fucking two holes that I drilled in with the stand. Yeah, it fucking fell. I don't know what the fuck happened. I guess I, the way I put it, maybe I don't, I don't fucking know. It's heavier than the other one. So I don't fucking know. I don't know. All I know is my fucking setup looks so fucking Mickey Mouse. But the good news is, let me show you what the good news is, boy. Our London session signal or buy at 138.214, TP1 at 138.415, stop loss at 138. Only had about six pips drawdown before hitting TP1. Boom, currently floating 19 pips in profit on our way to TP2 with stops to break even. So I'm gonna need you motherfuckers to smash that like button, comment, whatever the fuck, I don't know, and subscribe. Let's get it. Oh, also we're doing a giveaway for uh, for Christmas, so stay tuned for that. The giveaway will be pretty cool. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, but all I know is I gotta do something nice. You know what I'm saying? So anyways, thank you guys for watching this fucking video. I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do with that wall. Anybody who lives in fucking Miami, who knows how to fix a fucking wall, let me know, slide in my DMs, come fix my shit, please.